Hello, this is Mr. White. Uh, I'm going to try to go over this candy dichotomous key, uh, give you a few examples, sort of go through them, and hopefully that'll uh, give you the groundwork so that you can complete the others on your own. But if there, you have any other questions even after this, uh, send us an email and we'll try to walk you through it some more and figure it out. So first of all, the assignment is a Google form here, and you'll notice it says we need to use today's PowerPoint, specifically slide number eight, to classify the families of the candies. I'll just show you where that PowerPoint can be found here. Maybe. <laughs> Should be under the classification. There's the assignment that we're working on now, candy dichotomous key. We're going to want to go below it. There it is, the classification PowerPoint, which I already have open here, so I'll open it up. And reading this entire PowerPoint would be helpful uh, for the rest of your class, but specifically for this, this video and then this text here will explain what a dichotomous key is. And it just it's something that helps you classify and sort organisms. And in this case, instead of an organism, it's going to be candy, but it's the same process. We're just trying to figure out, as if, if we didn't know what this candy was already, or what its scientific name is, perhaps, what, how would we find out? And we would follow these steps, and then when we follow the steps, we should be able to identify what we're looking for. So here we have several candies. And on the right, on the left-hand side there, you have the actual key itself, the dichotomous key. So we'll start with, yeah, I'm going to do four and five here. Uh, four, because I think four can be kind of tricky, and I just want to do two, so that's why I'm just going to do four and five. <laughs> so anytime we do a dichotomous key, you always start at the very top, so you'll start with the first one. So one, the candy is chewy, or the candy is hard. So this is saltwater taffy. Uh, if you've ever had saltwater taffy, you'll know it's chewy. So we'll go to number two. Two, the candy is wrapped, or the candy is not wrapped. We can see that it's got a wrapper on it. So we'll follow 2A, the candy is wrapped, which shows us to go to 3. 3 ask, uh, the candy is rounded, or the candy is not rounded. So if you look at it there, you can kind of tell it has a rounded shape. So we'll go rounded to number 4. The wrapper is all white, or 4B, the wrapper is not all white. And this is the part where I think it could trip you up potentially. Uh, the wrapper is all white. The candy, you can see through the wrapper, and it may, you, so you might see that color there and think that that's part of the wrapper, but it's not. That's the candy itself. So the wrapper is all white. And so we have our answer for candy four. Candy four is saltus taffinia. And then on your Google form, you would just go and mark saltus taffinia when it asks candy four. So we'll do five as well and just walk through that. So is this candy chewy or is this candy hard? Uh, these dum-dum suckers, uh, they're a hard candy. It tells us to go to seven. So we'll go down to seven here. So is the candy spherical or ball-shaped or is the candy not spherical? So these are spherical. They have a round shape. The candy itself does. It tells us to go to eight. If we go to eight, is the candy wrapped or unwrapped? Uh, you can see here it is wrapped, it has a wrapper around it. So we go to eleven. So is the candy on a stick, or is the candy not on a stick? And in the picture, you can see the stick. So we know the candy is on a stick, and it is a moronus moronus, and that is what you would mark on your form. So we would go down, candy five. Oh, more honest, more honest. So hopefully that helps some. Uh, 
Remember, if you have any other questions, send me an email, let me know. I can do another one of these. These aren't very hard to make. Might take a little while to get to you, but yeah. Guess that's it. See you.